Ohio's rivers have come a long way since the Cuyahoga infamously burned several times. Even so, with soaking rains today and things like grease and metal still getting washed into local streams, that creates a problem. Meteorologist Ben Cathy is finally drying off <laughs> after meeting a UT professor working to change that. Ben? And Lee, Toledo picked up about four tenths of an inch of rain today. I know that might not seem like a lot, but it can really raise the Ottawa River. Now one project is blending science and natural beauty in an effort to slow that down. This is what's going right into the Ottawa River near Secor. Oil, grease and dissolved metals plunging right back into the watershed. Rather than just collecting the water and say catch basin or pipe and releasing it directly, that green stormwater infrastructure can also be cheap, relatively cheap and be effective and also be much more attractive. University of Toledo engineering professor Cindy Gruden and her team do what most dread. They head into the rain, measuring what's in the water and how to remove those harmful chemicals. Trees will soon sift pollutants and slow down erosion. So like any place where there's urbanization, the water quality has definitely gone downhill. There's more solids, um, there's more of all their types of contaminants. The water levels change quickly during rain events. The velocities of the water can get really high, which can cause erosion. And so um, it's a problem. Green storm water is an old idea, but it's getting a new look. Instead of piping the water to treatment plants or just dumping it, scientists and builders create water gardens and wetlands. So these natural features um, do a, a great job of treating the water, but they also add to the beauty of our environment. And Dr. Gruden says, hey, there's a lot you can do at home and it doesn't have to cost a lot, especially rain barrels for your gutters. Reporting live in Toledo, I'm meteorologist Ben Cathy, 13ABC Action News.